welcome back to my channel it's Layla today I am very excited I am going to be testing out this set that I got from NYX over Christmas this is the holiday soft glam warm nudes collection including 16 eyeshadows a lip lingerie and a vinyl liquid eyeliner so excited so if you want to see how I got this look what colors are used how they worked what I thought then let's crack on with the video okie dokie let's get into it I am so excited to get into this <sighs> right so base all done if you want to see how I achieved the base head to my Instagram because I've done a little video on how I did that um so yeah let's just get into this so in this set we have got the NYX vinyl liquid liner I do have one of these get a lip lingerie which I ruddy love the lip lingerie is dry down to kind of a matte satin finish but they do have glosses and satins as well I think what is it no there's glosses and glitters as well um so this is one of the lip lingeries and this is in exotic and is that gorgeous kind of ready brownie nudie color this though is the one that i'm very excited to try this is the warm nudes eyeshadow palette i have been a huge fan of nyx lip products for a couple of years now but i've never tried their eyeshadow products so i'm super super excited to get going with this so let's just crack on so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine matte shades and we've got one two three four five six seven shimmer satin shades so let's just crack on and get going so I'm using at the moment, I've kind of been experimenting with technique and different kind of ways I've been doing my eye makeup, definitely over Christmas and New Year. And um, I've discovered, this may be no news to anybody, but that's what we're here for. I'm not a professional. I'm not an expert at this in the slightest. I'm just like you. I'm just playing about with makeup and seeing what works and seeing what doesn't work because it, let's just have fun. Let's just have some ruddy fun. Um, so I've been using more of um, more of a pencil brush, more of a densely packed brush to pick up product and place it on my eye. And then I've been switching to a blending brush to then blend that out, if that makes sense. So I'm going to be using this one from the Revolution um, Champagne Collection, I believe this was. And then I'm going to be using my Spectrum B06 to blend that out. Um, so what shall I use first? I don't have any shade names. Um, so I think, I think I'm going to go with this one here, just as kind of a crease colour, as a transition shade, just to put down and make it easier for the other shades to blend. Apparently that's how that all works. So what did I say? So let's do that then. I will say I'm a bit annoyed that there's no mirror. I don't know if the, bear with. See, and that's why I'm annoyed that there's no mirror because I've now got to look around and try and find a palette with a mirror. Um, so yeah, it would be nice if it already had a mirror. I'm not sure if NYX palettes usually come with a mirror. I don't think they do because I think they've generally got this Perspex lid so you can see the shades through it. I now can't remember what any of the NYX shadow palettes look like. But yeah, I would prefer a mirror. So... So I'm just popping that, ooh. That is super warm. Okay, so I didn't go ham digging into that then. It actually comes out a lot warmer than it looks even in the palette. So I'm just pressing that on. Then I start with the blending brush and just really gently sort of go in circles along the edge the top edge just to blend that a little bit oh that blends so nice oh my god there's no patchiness there's no nothing that just blends super nicely mm. okay let me try and make the other eye match Okay, so far, so impressed. Right, what we're we gonna use next? Oh, 
very excited. I think let's go for this one next um, and just build the crease up and try and make that kind of stand out and have a bit of definition. Definition, that's the word I'm looking for. Are we all living for this highlight, by the way? <gasps> Obsessed. Obsessed. Head to my Instagram and find out which one it is. <gasps> oh, the cheeky. some pigment going on there oh nearly dropped it oh nearly dropped my mirror again please don't break a mirror like can you imagine first week in january break a mirror <laughs> is anybody else superstitious just look how nicely that's blending oh Oh my God, just look how beautifully that blends down. <gasps> I love that. Okay, there's no patchiness. There are no um, lines or any, I've just hit myself in the head. Of course I have. Of course, I've just hit myself in the head every time. Every time. Oh. Guys. I mean, just look how pretty that looks. <gasps> oh, Alexa! Alexa! Right. Okay. Make the other eye match. Uh. Does anybody else like get pure fear when you're trying to make the other eye match? If you've done like one eye really well and then you've got to go and make the other one as good. Oh. Oh, what do I want to use next? Okay, so I think I want to go and use like um like an outer V colour just to deepen that up. Obviously, I'm not going to do like a full on smoky eye because it's just like a nude set. We don't have like the dark, dark, like black or anything. But this one is calling my name and I'm thinking if we darken up the outside there, we can kind of create that depth and that illusion. I think, uh -huh. let's have a do. Okay, I'm going to start on this eye this time. <laughs> I know, mental. <laughs> Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Look, look. <laughs> oh my God. Like, they're pigmented, but they're not overpoweringly pigmented. These are not going to take a lot of blending at all. I love it. <gasps> Look, that edge is blended. Edges, blended and snatched. <gasps> oh, right, okay. <laughs> I just hit myself in the head. <laughs> um, um. Oh my God, what a knob. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. I just poked myself in the face with my brush. <laughs> look, just look, just look. And I'm definitely, I'm certainly not like digging around in it at all. I am loving this. Oh my God, why did I not try this sooner? <laughs> I should have trusted you. <sighs> okay, so let's go and do the lid, the middle of the lid. What do we reckon? This one is kind of calling my name at the minute. Either this one or this one. So let's... Ooh, gorgeous. What do we think? See, I'll keep holding it up like there's a mirror. There's no mirror. See, I feel like this one is more kind of standout-ish and this one is more subtle. 
I think this one. I think this one will contrast with the corner colour and this a lot better. So let's try that then. Okay, so I'm going to switch to this flatter brush uh, by Revolution. Let's try it dry first and we'll see what we think. God, it's so pretty. God, that is so pretty and subtle. I love that. That is so nice. So I want to try it wet though. Shall we have a try? Shall we see if it's any different? See, oh, I'm really struggling with the no mirror in this palette situation. I'm either holding the eyeshadow palette and trying to look in the lid, or I'm holding the mirror and then I go and dip my brush in blusher. <sighs> right, so let's try it wet. Ding, 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 ding. So I'm going to use the Hyaluronic Fixing Spray from Revolution. Get the right side of the brush, that might help. Did it again, just put the palette up instead of the mirror. See, there's not a huge difference. It doesn't make it like super foily to wet it, but there is a difference. It maybe just makes it slightly more opaque, like it's not as sheer. Um, so that would obviously just depend on what kind of look you're going for. But I wonder as well if that's because this colour is so sheer on me as well. Love it though, it's kind of kept that subtle look, but just made it a little bit more, it's got kind of brought it to the front a little bit more, if that makes sense. Loving this daytime soft glam situation. This headband's giving me a headache. Ugh. Right, so I'm just going to go back over with the darker colour we put on the outside. Which I think was this one. And I'm just going back over that. Just to kind of, can you see, it kind of redefines it a little bit. And that's what Tammy taught us to do. If you watch Makeup by Tammy, that's what Tammy tells us to do. That's what Carmi tells us to do. That's what Jackie Aina tells us to do. So, God damn it, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Okay, and then back with the blending brush. Really does not need a lot of blending at all. It goes on so nicely diffused already. Oh, I'm going to be so interested to try some of the more colourful, vibrant looks. Like, because these are going on so soft, it's making me think, are the colourful ones going to need more building up? Or, because this is a soft glam palette, are they made to do that anyway? And, and, <laughs> and maybe the colourful ones pack more of a punch because they're colourful ones? Honestly, I'm going to be so excited to try some of the more colourful ones now. Oh! Oh, it's so soft and nice to use, man. Oh, honestly, I'm loving this so much. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, what do I need to do now? Underneath. Underneath, underneath. I'm going to switch to this brush from Revolution, which is just a little denser and a little narrower there. What shall we use for underneath? <sighs> okay, I feel like I want to use this one for underneath. It's kind of a brick, like kind of a red bricky kind of colour. Ooh. Ooh, I'm liking this. Sometimes find when I'm doing my under eye that it can kind of almost kind of blows itself out so as soon as i start to move the brush it kind of flings everywhere but this is just staying exactly where i've put it but going on like super nicely or diffused already like this is doing most of the work for me so thanks nix i am all about the easier life let's face it <laughs> and then just back with the trusty spectrum b06 just to Blend that out a little bit more. Look at the difference an under eye makes. Just look how much bigger and brighter it makes your eyes look. What is, I'd be really interested to know, what is the makeup step you will not skip for anybody in the whole wide world? I'd be so interested to know. I think for me at the minute it would be highlighter. Like I don't know if anybody can tell, like I am obsessed with highlighter still. <laughs> 
But in terms of eye makeup, I think now I've kind of discovered the whole under eye thing and I've seen how much of a difference it can make to a look, I think this would be my can't skip step for eye makeup, definitely. Right then. Uh, yeah. Um, what should we do now? Should we do liner? Why can I never open anything on camera? So this is the um, vinyl liquid liner. Now this is a proper liquid liner. This is not a felt tip. This is a proper, can you see? It's a proper brush dipping it into liquid. Now, the reason it's vinyl is it stays that really nice wet look as well. So, definitely need a mirror for this one. So, let's have a do. Oh, my God. Okay, so, what I do is it goes in, just wipe the excess off around the brush, and then send up prayers to anybody and everybody you can think of. Look down into the mirror... And take it along the lash line. For me as well, like, think you're about to paint your eyelashes. That's how close you want to get. Right, now for me, I've got dips there. So I tend to turn the brush the other way and come back this way. Just to really get into that edge. Because if I try and do it that way, I end up painting it down onto my face. Which is not what I want. It's not what I want. If that's what you want, that's fine. But it's not what I want. I believe as well, uh, NYX in the vinyl range have got some lip colours as well, which I'll be very, very interested to try. I love lip gloss and I love that kind of wet look. So this stays that wet look, shiny situation. And I believe the wet look lippies do exactly the same. Oh my God, I love that so much. The point on that is so fine. <gasps> love it. Should we do a little bit of a wing? I'm not doing a huge wing because I've got to go and pick Charlotte up in a minute. Let's just do a baby one just to bring that together a little bit. Can I just say how much more confident I've got with eyeliner because a year ago that would have freaked me out and I would never have done that on camera. <laughs> right, bear with whilst I try and make the other side match. There we go, they match somewhat. And I love that. And yeah, it's weird. You kind of look at them and think, oh, they've not dried down because I'm so used to black liquid eyeliner is drying down to that matte or even satin finish but this stays so shiny and wet looking it's gorgeous <gasps> right Ooh. so yeah as i say i've got two of these now but and how easy was that i mean come on i am no like eyeliner aficionado or anything and that was just so easy to use it just glides on so easily there's no drag at all elixir one thing i will say is it does dry fairly quickly so you kind of have to just not mess about and keep dipping into it a little bit but i mean yeah i'm maybe just nitpicking there to be honest to try and kind of bring some balance because i feel like i'm just raving about everything but that's because i'm genuinely enjoying using it elixir right so let me just do my mascara me mascara or even mascara and obviously in honor of using nyx products on my eyes at the minute i'm going to use the worth the hype for mascara from nyx which i love so much okay so that's lashes done and i think last for the eyes i'm going to do the inner corner which i love doing this step for me is a little bit like the under eye situation where you put it on and it's like dang huge eyes right so mm, do I want, I don't know, do I want this one or do I want this one? Let's have a do. Let's do the whole shablam situation. Oh my God, I'm thinking this one. This one. This one. Look, it's just brighter. <gasps> yep. Ding, ding, ding. 
we have a winner. Okay, so for this, I'm going to use this little pencil brush, which is from um, a Revolution set I got. I can't remember which one, but there we go. Oh, oh this looks gorgeous. See, that for me is not showing up very well. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this one instead and see if that's see if it's the brush. Okay, that might have been the brush. <laughs> okay. <gasps> yep. Okay. Yeah, that was definitely the brush. All right, sorry, Nick, my fault, my fault. See, it's all about the tools you use. Oh my God, look at it. Oh my God, look at it. Okay, the tools are just as important. I may have got a bit mental with that. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Look how much brighter and wider that's made my eyes. All my brushes just fell over. Oh my god. I love that. I really, really love that. Okay. Okay, so last on the list is the lips. And we've got the lip lingerie in this set. This is in Exotic. And it's one of the original formula lip lingerie. So it's not the gloss or the shimmers. It's the um, it's just the standard one that dries down to like a matte finish. So let's get into this. Oh god, I hate opening these. Could we have, please, you know this little perforated thing down here? Could we have either a lip that goes over the edge or like can we start it a bit further down or can we have a little tab on it or something because trust me if you've got long nails or acrylic nails this is like oh my god it's like the krypton factor for anybody old enough to remember that <sighs> i just want to open my lip gloss <laughs> That took me a full minute and a half to get into. I mean. Okay, so I'm gonna use one of the lip lingerie liners, first of all, and this is in, this is in nude shoes. So this is literally just a line. Um, I don't really know what color this lip is gonna come out like on me, so I didn't really know what liner to use. So I thought I'd just go for like the truest nude for me, which is this nude shoes. It's like a ready brownie nude, gorgeous. Are we gonna focus, sir? Uh, thank you. Yes, loving this situation. <laughs> right then. <gasps> oh my God. This goes with the eye look so well. It's like, it's like they're meant to be in a set. Oh, it's so creamy. Oh my God, this is going on like butter. Like butter! I'm sorry, my angry New York lady comes out every now and again. Oh my God, I am loving this colour. Okay, so that has come out a lot redder and a lot more pigmented on me than I was expecting. And I'm just going to tidy that up with eyeliner. Eyeliner. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Lip liner. Okay, so on camera, that looks so red on me. In person... Yeah, on person it looks quite red as well, but it's not quite as deep as it looks on camera. Oh my God, I love it though. I love it. And it makes my teeth look so white. <sighs> that is a gorgeous, I can feel it drying down. That is a gorgeous, like brick red kind of color. Oh my God, I love it. It looks so so there we go, that is the final look. What do you reckon? Oh my God, I love it. I actually love it. Um, I was intended on going a little bit more subtle than this, but where have I been subtle? When 
do I be subtle? Let's face it. Okay, so this was the holiday warm nude soft glam situation from NYX featuring the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette in Warm Neutrals, the Lip Lingerie in Exotic and the Vinyl Lip Liner. <sighs> the Vinyl Eye Liner. There we go. She gets there in the end. I know. If you're still with me, thank you so much. I do get there in the end and I do try my best and I don't mean any harm. You've just got to, you've just got to remember these things, okay? Okay. Right, thoughts on the eyeshadow palette, which was the one that I was most excited to try because I'm not very uh, familiar with NYX eyeshadow palettes. Oh my God, I am so impressed. I'm so impressed with the pigmentation. I'm so impressed with how easy they were to blend. Um... I know they're together in a palette, so all of the shades have been um, designed to go together. But, oh my god, they work together so well. Um, yeah, I just really like them. I really like the shade selection as well. Like, normally in a palette, sometimes it gets a bit samey, I think. But this one, although it's all nudes, there are really, really different shades. So, yeah, I'm really, really impressed with that. I've closed it and I can't open it again now. So, yeah, I'm super impressed with that. Um, all very wearable shades, all very, very um, blendable, usable. Um, so, yeah, I will definitely be going and trying more NYX eyeshadow to go with my lip colour obsession. Oh, love it. Um, the lip lingeries I have used before but not this shade and I'm super impressed. I love the colour. This is on me a perfect kind of brick red colour. You know you get those like old like Georgian townhouses that are all like really nice dark red brick. That is that on me. Um, so yeah I love that one. Love 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 and it makes my teeth look really white which I'm super happy about. So yeah thanks Nyx. Thanks ever so much. Um, the eyeliner usually would scare the bejesus out of me because it is a true liquid liner as in you dip it in you brush it on it's not a felt tip situation i don't know why i was scared because it's super easy to use the brush itself is an actual brush it's not one of the silicone ones that just kind of scrapes it off as you try and apply it um it stays looking that wet look that vinyl look which is the whole point um as i say they do lippies in the vinyl finish as well which i'm definitely going to go and stock up on because because me likes a shine um so yeah i love it i am so impressed with that i did get it in the sale i can't remember how much it was so yeah super impressed with those and i will definitely be going and trying more of nyx eyeshadows oh, love those love them. genuinely so so impressed i'm gonna be telling everybody about the nyx eyeshadows love them um so yeah that was me that was my review of the nyx holiday soft glam warm nudes gift set situation and a link to that. if you have liked this video would you do me a huge massive huge this big favor and like the video by going and pressing the thumbs up button just down there would you please click on the sh kick would you please click on the share button and share this video amongst your friends family and loved ones um that would be wonderful thank you very much so that we can have a big hug with more and more people around the internet because it's wonderful um would you also do me a massive favor and leave me a comment down there please just scroll 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 and then there'll be the comment section um and just come and say hello just let me know that you've watched it because that would make my day that would really make my day just literally say hi in the comments and i can come and say hello to you because it would be lovely um and if you haven't subscribed already but you've made it to the end of this video you might as well subscribe because you obviously don't hate me otherwise you wouldn't have made it to the end of probably a waffly squealy weird video so if you've made it this far you might as well just subscribe that would be wonderful if you are subscribed thanks um also don't forget to click the bell thing because that just means you are notified whenever i upload a new video and you can be amongst the first to see my new content don't know what happened to my voice there but let's just go with um so yeah i'm now off to pick charlotte up from school and have a big cuddle i am devastated that the christmas holidays are over um but i'm very happy to be filming again and chatting with you lot so yeah i'm off to go and get scooby-doo and give her a big cuddle and get on with our evening i hope you have 
an amazing day, whatever it is you're doing. Remember, I love you so much. Be nice to yourselves. Be nice to everybody else. Try and be kind. Try and just live with a bit more kindness and compassion. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.